I know, you're still not sure what kind of WordPress theme slash page builder you should have for your e-commerce websites. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on which one I think you should be using for your e-commerce website. Then we can kind of compare and contrast all three themes slash page builders. So here we have Flatsome. Now, if you don't know, Flatsome is the number one best-selling e-commerce theme over on ThemeForced. Second, we have Divi, and Divi is the number one most popular WordPress theme in the world with the most paid active installs. And lastly, we have Elementor, which is the most popular free plugin page builder for WordPress. So all three are very suitable for e-commerce. And I'm gonna go through each one to kind of discuss and compare and contrast and let you decide what's good for your e-commerce websites. Now, first we have Flatsum. Now, personally, I am a big fan of Flatsum. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it up front because I find that Flatsum out of all three is the most convenient out of all of them. So for example, right here, there's a lot of different ways on how you can style your product. So here's a basic product, right? And right here you can do quick view, et cetera. But right here we have different styles. So you can see here how you can style your products very differently with Flatsum. And then you can kind of go and check them out, et cetera. Now the other page builders sort of have this, but you have to really build it like that. And you have to really spend a lot of time and effort to make it look like this. And personally with the other two, it would require a lot of CSS and a lot of work to do what Flatsum can do uh, on its own. So in that regard, uh, I feel that Flatsum is more geared for people who just want an e-commerce website very fast and very simply. And also right here, uh, Flatsum actually has the Flatsum Studio. So right here we have the Flatsum Studio and it has like around a thousand different templates. And the reason why I like the Flatsum Studio is because these are specifically geared for e-commerce. Now, Divi does actually have templates as well, but they only have around two to three templates for e-commerce, I think. And personally, I just think the the templates for Divi are just, they're just ugly. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're just, they're just not that good looking, you know, and I just, I wouldn't use them on any client website. You know, I really wouldn't, but uh, just giving you an example really quickly. So here we have pre-made layouts, and then we have something like a uh, online store. And these are the ones that you can use. And I just don't really feel that a lot of these are suitable to use for like a, an e-commerce website. Now that's my personal opinion. Some of these are really nicely designed, but uh, they're really niche. So it you have to like replace the images, you have to replace a lot of the text and everything. But with Flatsum, you're just giving this large amount of just huge library of templates. So here you can kind of see they have pre-made templates that are already made for you in various different styles and fashions, and they're not too niche related. So all you would need to do is just like swap out one or two images and then you're all done and so on and so forth. Now these they have fully functional e-commerce templates. They also have full page as well. They have about us pages, call to actions, banners. You can see on the left side right here how they just have various different sections that you can use for your e-commerce website. So I find this very convenient and I just find it a lot easier. Now, I'll be honest with you all, the UX builder for Flatsum is not as good as Elementor or Divi because um, it's it's you know it's sort of drag and drop, but it's not that easy. So uh, for example, right here, if you wanna go ahead and add something, you'd add it in like that, you'd add in a row, and then here you'd add in the elements, etc. So here, add an elements, or elements, there we go. And then you would just put in like a text widgets, apply that, and then here again, you'd put in something like a button. Now, the reason why, again, I like Flotsam is because see here they have like these preset conditions. So this will really speed up the process of your web design flow. Now, also the theme customizer, I also favor for Flotsam is because here on the header section, you can see here how you can build the header with the actual theme. Now, you can do the same thing with Divi, and with Elementor, if you want a custom a header, you're gonna have to build it with the page builder. And personally, I'm a little against that because I feel that when you're trying to make the menu with the page builder, you have too many responsive issues. It doesn't look natural or organic, and it just doesn't feel right when I'm building my website. Now, that's my personal opinion. A lot of people like to build their headers with the page builder, but I don't like it. I, re I feel that that's what the theme should do. So here we have the actual header builder with Flatsum. So here you can kind of design everything. You can move it around and you have a lot of design and control over your header. And they also do have presets. And here you can just kind of say, I like this. I wanna use this. And then there you go, your header's done. So I find that Flatsum is just a little bit more convenient 
to use than Divi and also Elementor. Now, Divi, the biggest flaw with Divi for e-commerce is that they don't have an add to cart button, which is very frustrating. So here we have these products and there's no add to cart. So you have to click on the image, and then once you do that, then you can add this to the cart, et cetera, and then it actually works just fine. Uh, Elementor actually does have the add to cart, but here, I don't have it on here, but they do have the feature. I do like the style of Elementor's e-commerce, um, their e-commerce, I guess you wanna say formats, because it just comes standard as really nice and really clean. Now, all three of these builders slash themes, they also all have a product page builder, and they also have a shop page builder now. So. Elementor has a custom product page builder and a shop page builder, Divi as well. So you can have fully functional uh, different product pages and shop pages with uh, with Divi. And this is just an example right here. And recently Flatsum. Flatsum also now has a custom product layout. So you can build specific custom product layouts with Flatsum. Now, they didn't have this a long time ago. So this is a new feature. But I just do also like the fact that they have different product layouts. They have different product headers and this right here is just so much more faster and more convenient I think because if you are someone who's building on e-commerce website and you don't have that much experience I find that Flatsum is probably suitable for you however if you have a client out there who wants a lot of custom work and wants a really dynamic e-commerce websites I probably wouldn't use Flatsum I might go with Elementor or Divi depending on which which what I think is good for my clients, you know, but here you just want to have like so many different options. You know, we have a sticky add to cart, uh, all these other features. Now you can do this with Divi and Elementor. However, you will need to install a lot of plugins and that can basically take away, uh, take a lot of time, you know, and, and just be a hassle. So in that regard, I do feel that the, the options for Flatsum make things a lot more convenient. So uh, personally, if you are just getting started out with e-commerce, I probably would recommend Flatsum. Uh, Divi is great as well. Just I think that Divi needs to add the add to cart function. Elementor is also a really good pick. I think that Elementor is, is a standard solid builder, but keep in mind that you're gonna have to get a theme that works out for Elementor. So I think Astra and OceanWP were good. I think OceanWP, at times I feel that it requires too many plugins to be optimal, but I feel that Astra is just suitable. So if you do wanna build an e-commerce website with um, with Elementor, I do have a video on it um, and I build out the same e-commerce websites. It's pretty standard, it's a pretty straightforward tutorial. So um, I think Elementor is a good pick. Also, if you wanna build one with Divi, you know I have the same tutorial as well with Divi and we build out this e-commerce website. Again, the only big flaw that I, feel Divi needs to add is they need to add the add to cart function right here because uh, they still don't have that feature, but they will add this and they will really improve their product because now that they have the theme builder out, now they're getting really aggressive and pushing out a lot of really cool features. And then also we have Flatsum. Now Flatsum again, I think is uh, the most convenient, but I don't like the UX builder compared to Divi and Elementor. So uh, I feel that Divi has the, uh, I'm sorry, Divi has the best UX builder because it's just super easy to use. And I would say Flatsum is just a little bit uh, not as easy to use compared to these other ones. So if you've never used Elementor, if you've never used uh, Divi, this is the actual way you build your page. So you would click on this, add a section, you know, add a widgets, pick columns, and then you'd go over here and you would drag stuff in like that. And they also have different um, different um, modules as well for uh, for WooCommerce as well. So uh, but I think you need the pro version in order to get that. So let's see here. I think you can do this with just the regular ones. Yeah, products right here. But they do also have the, um, they do also have uh, more product features in their pro version. And I would just get their pro version, guys. I mean, I wouldn't use the free version for Elementor. It's useless. So, I mean, it's an upsell, really. Like, they're just, they're trying to get you to buy the pro. Like, duh. Like, that's really how it goes. But um, you can display your products uh, with Elementor. And Divi has probably the best UX. So, what I mean by that is that Divi is just the most easiest to use. It has the most flexibility. It's just like super easy to do whatever you want. Um, you know, the, the margin and the padding, moving stuff around, the drag and drop uh, capabilities for Divi are among the best. Uh, Elementor, I think they have a dated builder. I think that it is stable, but I think that um, it's just old school and they need to kind of update their UX builder because it's been around for quite some time and I don't know why they haven't updated it, but 
Uh, for e-commerce, it would work just fine. And for Flatsome right here, the UX can be a little flawed at times. They do have some features that Elementor and Divi both don't have. Like here on the left side, you can like drag rows and you can kind of, you know, drag sections and, and kind of design your site like that. But the UX for the UX builder is not as user friendly. And sometimes they're also using the old editor right here. So this is like the old editor for WordPress and they're still using that for a lot of their modules. I think they're just gonna keep it because like I don't I don't see a reason to change it either. I really don't, but you now we'll see what they do. But I feel that if you want to have really stylish products and you want the convenience, Flotsam is the way to go. It does have a small learning curve, so just keep that in mind. Uh, Divi right here has probably the best UX builder, uh, but I don't like the fact that it doesn't have an add to cart button on the actual page, the module. Uh, they do have an add to cart, I believe, for the shop page, right? No, they don't. I don't think they do have one yet. So, I mean, there's a way on how you can add it, but it would require CSS and like, who the hell wants to do that, you know? So uh, you'd have to click on the product and here's the add to cart. But if you wanna add the cart from the actual uh, shop page or your uh, any page you put it on, uh, it doesn't have that yet, unfortunately, which is uh, very flawed in my opinion. And Elementor does have the add to cart feature, but again, the UX for Elementor can be a little convoluted at times. It can be a little old school. Just to give you an example, I call them clickers. I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this, but uh, like for example, if you wanna change the padding right here, we have to click and click and click and I'm not, and I, I refuse, I refuse to go back. But I mean, you can always type it in, like, you know, do this. You know, like which 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 padding is good for you? But I really feel they should just add like the Divi feature where they can just drag it and put it wherever you want. Um, and the UX for Flatsum is again the same way. Now let's talk about the pricing here. So that's my personal opinion between these three. All three will work just fine. Just keep in mind that it really depends on the UX builder. But I think that's or the UX builder, yeah, the the the, the builder or whatever, the builder for all three. But just keep in mind that. Uh, they are all pros and cons of each of them. Now let's talk about the actual pricing. So the Elementor pricing right here uh, is around $200 a year for the pro version. And that will give you the ability to have a custom, uh, a custom, uh, what is it? A custom shop page and also a custom product page as well as offer various other features. And personally, I don't find that expensive at all. I mean, it is a contract. So you're stuck in this $200 a year contract forever. And I don't, feel like that's bad because it's $200 a year and that gives you access to a thousand websites. So personally, people don't like the fact they don't offer a lifetime plan, but I really, I'm not really against it because I mean, $200 is nothing for the year anyways. It's dirt cheap, you know? What do you spend on Starbucks? What do you spend on this every year? I spend probably like two grand on it, you know? So I'm really not against it. Uh, and then also Elegant Themes right here. Now they have a lifetime access and this is the cheapest on this entire list. So. I feel that this is the best deal because a lot of companies don't offer lifetime access anymore for their builders. And then we have Flatsum over here. And I'm very uh, confused with the with the license from Envato because here they're claiming that it's only $59 for one domain. Now, keep in mind, this is a GPL product. And if you don't know what GPL means is anything licensed under the GPL means you can take this product and distribute it on as many domains as you want and give it to your friends, resell it, do whatever you want. You have total freedom. And the, the, the catch is that whoever you give it to, they have the same rights too. So if I give someone a copy of Elemental or a copy of Flatsum, they can give it to their friend and that's totally allowed. But Envato says that's uh, not allowed. But personally, if you go to their, um, if you actually go to their, um, their, their, their actual text. So this right here is from Flatsum. This is licensed under GPL. And it says right here in their license right here, that you are allowed to distribute this and put it on as many domains as you want uh, with total freedom. You are referring to freedom. And right here, it is licensed under GPL. So right here, you will find a copy of the GPL on the same directory. So this is a GPL product. So I'm just very confused on license from Envato. I don't think it's enforceable. And I think that if you wanna put this on as many domains as you want, you have all your right to, regardless of what uh, Envato Market says. Now, I'm not some like anti-developer person. I'm just saying maybe they should just charge more for the product and then just say it's GPL because their licensing doesn't make any sense. In fact, the owner of WordPress, Matt Mullenweg, came out and said 
What they're doing doesn't make any sense either because there's no such thing as a split license. Say it with me. There's no such thing as a split license. So this is my personal opinion and also Matt Mullenweg. So if you want to go ahead and purchase Flotsam and use it on as many domains as you want, you have all the right you want to because this product is licensed under GPL. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to do it, the I think they, they, they do it this other way right here. A uh, twenty nine fifty, and this right here offers like I don't even know what the hell this this is in a single end product, which end users can be charged for. See, that doesn't make any sense because this is licensed under GPL, so this doesn't make any sense. So don't don't get the extended. I'm just gonna say don't get the extended and the regular license. Use it on as many domains as you want because it's licensed under GPL. And if they want to argue with it. Just show them the piece of paper saying this is licensed under GPL, man. So, uh, anyways, that's my personal opinion. I do think each page builder has pros and cons. Personally, I am in a favor of Flatsum because I feel that Flatsum is just so convenient for beginners. However, if you are in the long haul and you've been using e commerce for a long time and you've grown accustomed to Elementor or Divi, that's also fine because Elementor and Divi are also very popular page builders and they're very easy to use. Flotsam, on the other hand, can be a little difficult at times, but with the Flotsam Studio out, it's very easy to just import sections and just get your whole e-commerce site done in, in just a few minutes. So again, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about my opinion in the comments below. I do have videos on Elementor, Divi, and Flotsam. I do have a new video on Flotsam with a dropshipping website, and I will be updating my e-commerce website for Flotsam in February. So I will have a new one for Flotsam coming out very soon because a lot of people love this theme, and um, it's a great theme. You know, the UX isn't as easy as the other two, but it does offer just really cool features that uh, both DV and Elementor don't offer yet, and it's geared specifically for e-commerce. So again, my name is Daryl Wilson, and I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you all in the next video, guys. Take care.